Okay, another example. So here we're told a machine costs 8,500 and has maintenance costs of 600 per year. After eight years, it has a salvage value of 4,000. For an interest rate of 10%, the equivalent uniform annual cost is most nearly what? So what we want to find, you have to be very, very careful and denote what you want to find here, what you want to convert everything back to. In this case, it's the annual cost, equivalent uniform annual cost. So this is saying how much do we want to put down annually every year to satisfy this whole condition, to have an equivalent system, an equivalent cash flow diagram based on the given condition. So here we want to find that so it's going to be annual cost and it's going to be a dollar amount per year. We need to put it down. So let's write down what we're given and when you do these cash flow diagram always right you want to draw that cash flow diagram so zero is always here and we know we're going up to eight years right and let me actually label these so this is one two let me label that better so this is one two three four five six seven and we go up to eight so we were going up to eight and we know the machine cost at the very beginning this is what you put down at present eight thousand five hundred so let's denote that as eight thousand five hundred so this is eight thousand five hundred so we have that that's taken care of the maintenance costs are six hundred per year so let's take care of that it's six hundred per year and always when you have these maintenance costs you do it every year so we're going to go all the way to 8. And the way that looks is like this. So we have this down, down, down. They're all the same, right? We put down 600 every year. So I'll, I won't write 600. Uh, sorry, sorry. You have to go up to the 8. You have to go all the way to the 8. Be careful with that. So you have to go all the way to the 8 from 1 to 8. And that's going to be 600. So I'll just write 600 here for those blue arrows. And it's going to be per year. So it's a per year value. It's actually an annual value, right? And now we're told after eight years, it has a salvage value of 4,000. We said salvage value occurs when? It occurs in the future at the very end, and it's going to be a positive value. It's something we get. It's a net. It's a positive value. And the mistake I'm seeing already that I forgot is denoting the negatives and the positives. So stay consistent with the signs here. It will save you a headache. So these are negatives because it's a cost. This is negative because it's a maintenance cost from the uh, from the perspective of the investor. So we took care of that, right? And now for the salvage value, it's going to be a positive in the future at the very end at year eight. We get that as a salvage. So it's a future value that we get. So let me use a, this color for that. And it's going to be 4,000. So it's a positive value, which goes up at 4,000. And that's going to be the salvage value, right? I'll just write SV there. So we know the interest rate. Oh, sorry. The interest rate is going to be 10%. And we know the end value in this case is 8, right? The end value is 8 because we're going to 8 years. So let's dive into the solution. And let me actually write a general equation for us. And we're going to say that the annual, the A value that we're going to find, the annual equivalent the annual cost it's a a value of dollar per year right let me just write that dollar per year is going to equal to our first a let me take care of something important this is an annual do you see any annuals here based on the given conditions we do see the 600 right the 600 is an annual that means you do not mess with it so you just leave it as an annual we want annual 600 is annual so we just leave that we do not convert that so that 600 i'll just call it a here for the letter blue so let's call that a and you do not mess anything with that but we know it's negative so we have to give it a negative sign right because it we lose it it's a negative it goes down so that's going to be the maintenance cost you do not mess with that now let's focus on the next one which is going to be the one at present so this occurs at present and we're going to have to convert that to an, an an annual. So we have to convert that to an annual. So what we'll call this is P. So P equals. 
So P, the way we convert that is we know we're going to go from the present to annual. We, go, we start at the present and we go to annual. We want to convert to annual. And we know the interest rate is going to be 10%. And we know the number of periods, the end value is going to be 8. So we go to 8. So from present, we're going to go all the way to 8. We're going to convert the present year to an annual value for year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, until 8. So from 0, and we're going to convert that to 8 at the very end, until the very end, in terms of an annual value. And that's what we will do here. And let me, if I got something, it's going to be a negative, right? Can be a negative because it goes down so it's a negative so we have that and we're going from p to a and i want to say like it's in the we talked about it in the last example right p to a is going to be we go from p to a p to a it says given p we start from present and we go to annual just note and all i did was use this symbol and we're going to use the tables to find the factor the actual factor using these symbol conditions, that given condition for that one. And we'll plug in the factor here. Now the very last one is going to be the salvage value. Salvage value is a future value, always. It's a future value that occurs at the very end. So the way this would look, it's going to be a positive value. And we're going to just call it SV. And we know it's a future value, so we start in the future and go to A. Because again, we want annual. The question, you have to be very careful on the FE. If we have to be careful what they want it's the annual because they want the equivalent uniform annual cost right so here we're going to say we're going to start in the future and go to annual and we know it's going to be 10 still that rate doesn't change and it occurs here at the very end year eight right so you just put eight for the end value so now we have everything we need so let's simplify this so the annual cost so we do the negative A value, so it's going to be negative $600 per year, per year. Then we do minus, so we're, this conversion is converting the present here to an annual, right? So we have to take that P value here, which is going to be the 8,500, and we multiply it by a factor. And we get this factor based on this condition, right? based on this condition. So we're going from P to A, 10% for the end value. No, this is the end value for eight years. So using the tables, I believe I have it here. So this is a factor table for I is 10%. Your interest rate is 10%. It's in the FE handbook at the very end of engineering economics. So 10%, we know the end value is eight. And we know we're going from what? P to A, right? So P is the very end number at the right side. So P to A. So P to A. And we know the bolded one is 10. This should be 9. This should be 8, right? So it should be this factor. And that's what I got. So 0 0.1847. Let's put that. 1874, sorry. So we have that. Now the very last thing is going to be the salvage value to positive. So we put the actual number of 4,000 there. Then you multiply by the factor. So we're going from F to A in this case, from the future to the annual, 10% for eight years. So using that appropriate table. So we know the eight is the same, keep that eight, 10%. But here we're going from the future to annual, right? Future to annual. It's a salvage value which occurs in the future. We go to annual, so it's going to be this one. So you put that factor in here, 0 0.0874. So you have all of that. Now you do the math. Don't forget to keep the negatives and keep this as a positive. So you solve for the annual cost. So when I did the annual cost, I got around this value. So 1843. Point three, and it's going to be per year. It's an annual value, so annual means you put it down every year. This is how much we need to put down every year to make it to be equivalent to this given condition or this given problem statement that's actually that condition, right? This given cash flow. So this is what we put down to make us equivalent. So the most appropriate answer, I believe, it should be D. That's it. Thank you.